Yeah. Well, there's a lot of fur going on, uh, you know, on the runways, and I think that there's two different camps. There's a very glamorous, embellished, fur-riddled, over-the-top um, uh, group of designers creating clothes that are very glamorous, and then there's more sleek, more sophisticated um, clothes that are more menswear, um, the menswear avenue, more clean. Um, uh, very, very, very um, stark uh, and influenced by menswear. So you're going to go with the beading and go with the fur, or you're going to do something that's more masculine, masculine edge. You kind of really have both, both big trends happening right now. Absolutely. And who would you say um, has stood out to you most as uh, designers in uh, both categories that you were? I thought the uh, Marc Jacobs uh, show was phenomenal. It started with Somewhere Over the Rainbow playing, and all of the clothes were very light and airy and feminine and pretty, and it felt right and appropriate after all the doom and gloom that's been happening in this world to sit at a fashion show that felt special and light and easy. Because we have enough hard stuff going on in the world, so fashion it should be pretty, and it was. Absolutely. And uh, were there any other collections that uh, you really loved? And I mean, obviously, I, loved, I just saw Calvin Klein. It was fantastic. Really, the clothes were gorgeous <laughs> and um, simple and clean, like Calvin Klein, you know, should be. And, and there was a great burst of blue. So um, I loved Calvin. I love Rodarte. Um, that was very pretty. There's also a lot of prints, fun, sweet prints happening. Peter Song was great. So I love it all. Everybody, what you have on from head to toe. Absolutely perfect. Um, what are you wearing? I'm wearing a um, Lil Van dress and a Vera Wang uh, necklace and an Naeem Khan top and Christian Louboutin shoes.